This video is made possible by the great folks at OWC, and if you don't know who they are, you should definitely get familiar with them, especially if you have a Mac. They do sell parts, but they also have great install videos to make things easy. So if you're looking to upgrade to an SSD, upgrade your memory, internal drives, external drives, or just accessories, they have exactly what you need. So make sure you check them out in the link in the description section below. What's up everybody, this is Danny, and you know that I have a brand new 5K iMac. But Apple really charges a lot for their memory. This is configurable up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, but they wanted $600 if you built it with Apple. And you can save a bunch of money by doing it yourself. And it's really easy. So with the help of the folks at OWC, I'm gonna show you how to install 32 gigabytes of RAM on the brand new 5K iMac. The 5K iMac only comes with 8GB of standard RAM, which is not a lot because they are targeting this towards professionals as photographers and video makers, and you definitely want the highest amount of RAM possible if you're doing that type of work. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you want to turn off the computer and then go ahead and pull your power plug from behind the iMac. Make sure you're working in the most static free environment as possible and also have a nice flat smooth surface for your iMac to lay face down and make sure you don't destroy that nice beautiful screen. Behind the iMac right above the power plug you will see a small button right there and if you push it you can see those two prongs coming up and that will also take off that back plate. But if that doesn't work you can also use a small suction cup. You'll see two tabs on each side there. Just go ahead and push out on them and that releases that RAM slot. So this is super easy. All you need to do is just pull out your old RAM. You might be a little bit forceful here. It might be a little bit stuck, but don't worry, you're not gonna break it. Just go ahead and pull it right out of there. So you're ready now to insert your new RAM. All you need to do is make sure the notch on the RAM matches up with the notch right there in the insertion point. Just go ahead and push that right in there and it'll fit nice and snug. Depending on your RAM upgrade, go ahead and keep repeating that. This is 32 gigabytes, so you will need four 8 gigabyte RAM sticks. So there you go, super easy to do. I don't know why you'd wanna spend $600. I mean, you can almost save 50% by going with a third party supplier. So there you go, just push it back in and there it is locked into place. And now you're ready to boot up your iMac. Wait, not quite yet though. You're gonna need to go ahead and put on the back plate that we took off earlier. All you need to do is put a little bit of pressure on that and make sure you just keep securing it until it becomes flush on the back of the iMac. Now that the iMac is all booted, of course it booted without any problems. And as you can see, there is the four times eight gigabyte configuration that we just put in. So let's do just a little bit of a performance test to see how it handles this new RAM. So I like to do a little silly test where I open every single app that's available on the Mac system. And you can do that and open it all up at one time. As you can see, it's doing pretty good. So. This has nothing to do with actual performance, by the way. Of course, I just like to do this test just to see how fast everything opens. And as you can see, everything's about open right now. So that's pretty quick on performance. And of course, once again, this has nothing to do with day-to-day -day performance. But I'm going to show you something in just a second to me that is very important, and that is video editing while other programs are open. First, let's just go ahead and open up Activity Monitor just to see how much RAM is actually being taken up by all of these apps and about 14 gigabytes. And there's still plenty of memory still left, but this should give you a good indication of what the performance would be like with the maxed out RAM. As you can see, I have a 4K project. This is the project that you're actually seeing here. And a lot of this is color graded as well with a few uh, effects and things like that. And you can see it's running absolutely perfect on here, even with every single app that's open open the 4k playback is absolutely perfect so this should give you a pretty good indication and why you actually need 32 gigabytes of ram if you're going to do actual video or photography work all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video on how to upgrade your imac 5k memory it's exactly the same as it was on the last generation so please do not spend 600 dollars at apple.com please do it yourself this is so easy to do Thanks OWC for providing this memory. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more high quality content like this. And make sure you follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching.